welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be on this look right here. It is very glam, glittery, fall inspired look because it is officially September now. So this is the look that I came up with today and if you like it and want to see how I got it then please keep watching. Okay, so we are starting with the face because I have, obviously, as you can see, some really rough breakouts right now. I don't know what's going on, so we are going to start by covering those up, and I'm using the Maybelline Baby Skin Primer. This is just like a pore filling primer, so I'm just going to apply that mostly in the center of my face where I have larger pores. And then I'm using the L'Oreal Invaluable Pro Matte Foundation, and this is in the shade 106, and I'm just applying that with a flat top kabuki brush. I believe this is the Sigma F80. And then I'm going to do a little color correcting. This is the NYX Dark Circle Corrector. Um, they have two different shades. I think this is the lighter one, but it's just a salmon colored corrector just for the darkness underneath my eyes. So I'm just going to apply that where I have darkness. <music> And then I will just lightly blend that out with a damp beauty sponge. This one is from Real Techniques. Then I'm moving on to concealer. This is the Urban Decay Naked Skin in the shade Light Neutral, I believe. And I'm just going to apply that in all the usual places. Triangle under my eyes, my lids as a primer, and the center of my face. And again, blending everything out with a damp beauty sponge. And I'm going to bake with the Laura Mercier translucent powder. And I'm going to leave this on while I do my eyes because I'm using glitter and you'll get a lot of fallout with that. So with the baking, you can just brush it away. on to the eyes I'm taking the shade burnt orange and a fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend that into the crease as I transition and then taking the shade real gar and a smaller fluffy brush I'm just going to blend that into the crease but a little bit lower and this is just going to really warm up the look going back in with a bigger blending brush and no additional product I'm just going to blend it out to make sure everything is nice and smooth and then I'm just gonna drag that real gar color onto my lid a little bit we're gonna put glitter over it so it doesn't have to be super precise just a little bit of a base and then I went in with this like little dome shaped brush and I believe this is still real gar I'm just making it a little bit darker in the crease and then again, just blending it out. And then I'm taking the shade Tempera and I'm just going to highlight under my brow. And then is on to glitter. This is the NYX Face and Body Glitter in the shade Bronze. And I'm using the e.l.f. Glitter Glue. And I'm just going to pack that all over my lid with a flat synthetic brush. And then I will pack the glitter on top of it while it is still tacky. Be sure that you're packing and like patting the glitter and not like rubbing or wiping because you'll get a lot more fallout that way. So I'm just covering my entire lid with the glitter. <laughs> very lightly running a brush through the crease just to make sure that the glitter did not get up too high 
And then taking the shade Cypress Umber and that same little blending type brush, I am just going to put that into the crease. I decided I wanted it to be a little bit darker. Just be careful that you're not disturbing the glitter too much. Just kind of very lightly run it right above the glitter through the crease just to deepen it up a little bit. And then going back in with a bigger fluffy brush and just lightly blending it out so there are no harsh lines. And then I'm going to brush away the bake. And when I do under my eyes, as you can see, there's a ton of glitter. I just do like a nice firm flick and kind of wipe the brush off with my hand. You can't really see just to get the glitter off so I'm not putting it right back on my face. And then I'm moving on to the lower lash line. I'm using a bigger fluffy brush just because I wanted to bring it down kind of far. And I'm just using the same two um, orangey shades. And taking a flat definer brush and that cypress umber color, I'm just going to pack that at the base of my lower lashes. And then I will go in with a smaller blending brush and just blend that out so there are no harsh lines. And then for the inner corners, I believe this is tempera that I'm applying here, but um, I wouldn't really worry about it because I end up going over it later because I wanted something more, but that's what I'm doing here. Moving on to liner, this is the Urban Decay 24-7 double-ended eyeliner pencil and one side is black and the other side is like a cool tone gray brown. Um, the black side is called Zero and I'm just using that on the upper waterline and then the other side is called Demolition and I'm using that on the lower waterline. And then for lashes, I'm using the Posh number 102 lash. And then we are moving on to bronzer and I am using the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade to give me sun. And I'm just going to run that all over the outer perimeter of my face just to warm it up a little bit. And to contour, I am taking the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette in this color right here. And I'm just going to apply that into the hollows of my cheeks and just kind of lightly blend it up. And then I'm also going to run it down the sides of my nose and along the edge of my hairline and my jawline. And then I'm going to mix the yellow and peachy shades in the same palette and just pat that underneath my eyes just to brighten it up a little bit and maybe take away any excess glitter that might still be there. And then we are on to blush, and this is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in the shade Tipsy, I believe. It's just kind of a peachy blush, and it looks pretty potent in the pan, but you can just do a light hand with it. And then for highlight, I am wetting my brush with Fix Plus, and I'm using the Laura Geller um, Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator, whatever it's called, in the shade Gilded Honey. And I'm just applying that to the tops of my cheekbones and my cupid's bow. And then this is where I changed my inner corner highlight. I put some of that over it. So you can do both or just one. That's totally up to you. And then I'm also applying it down the bridge of my nose and on the tip. Moving on to lips, I am lining in cork from MAC and I'm just lining the outer edges and then I'm kind of shading in the corners a little bit because this color that I'm going to put on is um, a little bit lighter so then I can kind of go over again with a pencil and just kind of fade it out. So that is what I'm doing here. Then I'm using the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick and this is in the shade Sandstorm. And 
and then finishing it off with some setting spray. This one is from Scandinavia. And after that, this look is complete. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it if you did. And subscribe if you haven't already. Comment below any suggestions that you would like to see. And hopefully, I will see you on the next one. Bye!